What is going on everybody? In today's video, we're gonna talk about something a little different. We're gonna talk about this brand right here, Yolo Tech. I have been using Yolo Tech products for about two years, going on three years now, and I gotta say, I absolutely simply do not go fishing without them. I use the power stick, I use the power station, and I use the power light, and these products are a game changer. If you're not familiar with the brand, they basically do power sticks and you know portable power sources for guys that like to record video and do GoPro uh, videos. You know, if you're a YouTuber, if you're a guy that likes to record your fishing videos, I highly recommend the power stick and I highly recommend the power station. I mean, if you're a shore angler and you're a guy that likes to fish offshore, you're fishing ponds, you're just cruising around from spot to spot, you literally can take this power station and just carry it around with you and set it up. It's its own self-contained power source and you never have to worry about running out of battery. If you're using GoPro, everybody knows what a pain it is to be switching out batteries. Your batteries are always dying. You're always losing footage. I mean, there's nothing worse than hooking into a 10-pound bass and hearing those GoPro beeps and your video cutting out on you and you losing your footage. So well, here's what the power station looks like. I actually have a prototype mount on the bottom of there. That's going to be coming out pretty soon. I don't have a time frame on that, but uh, they sent me one to test out and I got to say it's, a, it's a, a great upgrade. It keeps it from rolling and moving around. You know, you get some heavy uh, waves or some, some water out there and, and, and you start moving around the base is definitely a good upgrade so that'll be coming out pretty soon so keep your eye out for that. It's got cord storage, it's got a 12 volt navigation port, it's got two accessory ports and on the bottom here this one that's your actual charging port. Here's your power stick, here's your double barrel power station, um, here's your light. I got this Yolo Tech power light about a year ago, a little over a year ago Christmas and what prompted me to get this light is couple months before Christmas, I'll show you guys a picture here, I caught my personal best bass. It was 11 pounds, 3 ounces. And guess what? I didn't have a power light. I had a, I had a flashlight. I was trying to hook the light up and shine it on me and get a good picture, you know. Uh, and this is what it looks like. This is the best I could get. So I knew right then and there I had to go get a light and I needed some light if I'm late afternoon fishing, if I'm nighttime fishing. Here's another video, I'll show you this one right here. This is a picture of a nine plus pounder, almost 10 pounder that I caught, and I actually had the Yolo Tech power light on this, and look at this picture. I mean, look at this video clip, look at this picture. It is unbelievable, and that's basically just turning that light on. I had the sunset behind me. It's one of the best pictures, actually, I have ever taken, so. I don't know what more of a testimonial you need than looking at this picture to know that it's uh, something that you might want to consider, so. Here's your specs here. It comes with a wall charger. It comes with a car charger. It's got a couple little auxiliary ports to it. It's got a little bit of storage in there. Um, takes about six to eight hours to charge it from your wall. Um, it's got the car charger, uh, you can charge that and it takes about 8 to 10 hours. You got a car charger, maybe if you're charging it up in your 72 El Camino, you plug it into your cigarette lighter. What? Oh, you guys don't have an El Camino from 72? Well, if you don't have a 72 Camaro, uh, El Camino, maybe you got a 69 Camaro, you plug it into your cigarette lighter. Maybe you got a 68 Mustang. I don't know. Anyway. YOLO, you only live once, so if you only live once and you're trying to catch that once in a lifetime fish, better be recording and you better not have a dead battery because you will never live that down. So if you guys like these products, I'll put links in the description. You can go down there and click on the links. I actually have a coupon code, it's BassBruiser71. So if you want free shipping, click on the link below. It'll take you right to the site, punch in the BassBruiser71 uh, coupon code and you'll get free shipping, save you a little bit of money. There's always deals on this stuff. There's always something that's discounted. Um, the 53 inch power stick now has a generation two power stick. This is the generation one here that I have. I've had no problems with it from what I understand. The generation two is just new and improved. It's got a larger ball socket. I believe it's a one inch instead of a three quarter inch. 
and uh, I'm sure eventually I'll get one of those, but right now I'm using this one and I've had zero problems with it. You got your pros, you got your cons, there are zero cons. Not one single thing bad I can say about this product. And I've been using it for almost three years, so I highly recommend it if you want to start video and it'll save you some time. It's a convenience thing, you don't have to be fumbling around. When I first started, I made my own little power stick. I, I, took, a, I took a USB port, and I drilled it into my old tracker and I ran a wire to my motor battery and then I, I, read, I had like a 12 foot uh, I had like a 12 foot USB wire that I run in the battery and then I run up to this long pole and I had all this stuff hooked up so this is just one stop one shop no worries appreciate everybody watching my videos I'm almost at 300 subscribers at this point 300 may not seem a lot in the YouTube world, but you know what? 300 is cool with me. So we'll just keep making videos. We'll keep making the videos better. Try to grow the channel a little bit. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. This year, I'm gonna do a little saltwater fishing, do some inshore redfish, tarpon, snook, uh, maybe some sheephead, some trout. Uh, and so I got some trips planned. Still gonna be doing big bass videos and, and stuff like that. Maybe I'll do a little crappie and spec fishing. I got a couple honey holes I can hit around the corner over here. So keep your eye out for those and we'll keep making videos. Peace.